Hi, I'm Eric and we're here in my workshop where I handcraft each item. And today we're going to build a bear. So alright, we're going to first we pick a piece of plywood that's the right size for a bear. Here's our piece of wood. <clears throat> Here's our bear. I'm going to put him down here. As you can see, he fits well inside. And now we're going to transfer our line. I'm using spray paint. Just ordinary off-the-shelf spray paint. Sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's black. It's whatever I have left over. And there we've got our shape. And now we go to the jigsaw. So here's our bear after the jigsaw. I've pre-selected a couple pieces of pallet wood here. They're obviously too big for the bear, so first thing to do is cut them, start cutting them down on the chop saw. All right, so here's our bear. And I'm gonna take a couple of these pieces that I've pre-cut and I'm going to position them on the bear in a way I like them. And I think that's good. And now I'm gonna mark them so I know where to put them back. And lay them down just outside. Go for the glue. And generously apply glue inside the pencil area. Trusty nail gun. Three nails just to hold it in place. And then I go for the next one. And I like to stagger my seams. It gives it more of a natural look. And I go for the next one. And you keep doing that until it's covered. So you keep going like that and you'll eventually cover your bear entirely like that. All right, now that it's dried overnight, we're going to take it and flip it over and we're gonna grind off all the little nail heads that are sticking out through the back and uh, make it all nice and safe. Now that we're done with that, it's off to the jigsaw. All right, a bear is born. Now we get to torch it. And all I'm using is a straight butane torch. I do this because it takes off all the splinters and the ragged edges without me in the tight areas without me having to take a grinder to it. It does all kinds of neat things to the wood. It brings out the grain. It evens out the tone. Ages it, distresses it.
and that's it, she's torched. So next we go to the sander and knock off all the char and the ragged edges. And there you have it. So now that we're done with that, I'm going to carve a couple trees into our bear. I'm going to put them down here and I'm going to clamp them into place so he doesn't move. Get a good clamp on him. And I'm going to take my grinder here. And I'm going to take my plate. Okay, so now I'm done carving my trees. All right, now I got my stain, I got my brush, I got my torch, now we're ready to bring out our trees. Okay, so now I'm going to take this little brush and I'm gonna apply some black oil-based stain to the places that I carved. Starting with the tree trunk. And it's gonna take a lot, so I kinda just slap it on in there. And get it in there as quickly as I can. And don't really get, don't really worry about getting too much on, because we're gonna burn it off and sand it afterwards. From here, I'm going to play with the sander and the torch until I'm happy with the overall look. Bubbling down there in the bottom. Now we're going to sand it. Uh, get rid of all the excess char and all the steel spots. There is our bear with our trees. Now that our bear has been carved, he's ready for a clear coat. I use an exterior grade water-based clear coat to help seal and protect him. Thank you for joining me in my workshop. Please visit my website at edpracticalart.com.